Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Prediction. Literally, every team is up to date with their fixtures. Villa played their game in hand. I think it was Man City, Norwich, Sheffield United who all had a game in hand. They've all been played. We're back up to date with all fixtures now. But um, anyway guys, a lot of games to decide, a lot of games to predict, a lot of a few talking points, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Leicester versus Brighton. Now, Leicester drawing with Watford away from home, I think that the fact of, you know, could possibly give Brian a bit of confidence going and play up at Leicester considering they beat Arsenal 2-1 at MA. Um, you know, Brighton beating Arsenal 2-1. A great result for Brighton, puts more 32 points. Obviously you learned well from, you know, as who I support, so I'm not even familiar with that result. Could not really see us pull, pulling another upset with, at the Walker Stadium. King Power Stadium, I think it's called now. But could I see us pull another upset? I do think we might just pull an upset, but not as big of upset as we did against Arsenal. I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for this one. My next one is Spurs versus West Ham. West Ham moves it to Wolves. Tottenham beating United. I can't quite remember how I got on with uh, the weakening game. But Jason Mourinho seems to hit the box a lot quicker, coming out with the, whatever you want to call it, restart. So, you know, with the lights of West Ham, who are very much in a relegation battle themselves, I think this game might be slightly harder for West Ham. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 Spurs win. My next one is Manchester United versus Sheffield United. Now Sheffield United, I think it was Norwich, I might be wrong, please correct me if I'm wrong. Red. Sheffield United had a disallowed goal and it's well over the line. And Sheffield United finished the game 0-0. And you know, with the likes of referee going, my watch didn't do this, my watch didn't do that. And then Korkai, which is a, a return for it, we all know it as VAR. So we could pick it up and we sort of know that as, you know, not exactly true. We know that VAR can actually move all the objects to see if it's clearly over the line. The FA and the Premier League, you've got to start questioning and answering these questions because if I was a Sheffield United fan, I'd be so annoyed. But, you know, obviously Sheffield United got to move on. And they have played another game, but yet yeah, again, I can't remember how they got on. But with the likes of United losing to Tottenham, you know, it's behind closed doors, so as all games are at this minute in time. It could really be the fact of the table overturning. I think Sheffield United will have this one. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Sheffield United win. My next one is Newcastle versus Aston Villa. Um, now, Newcastle... They won. Who did they beat? I think that was actually Sheffield United. Um, yeah, get correct me if I'm wrong. Aston Villa losing two one to Chelsea. Uh, you know, going one up in that game, fair enough, fair good from Aston Villa going even one nil up against Chelsea. I'm not sure of the bottom three yet, but I do know Aston Villa play West Ham on the final day of the Premier League season. Could be a relegation battle that game. If it is, trust me, I'll be looking forward to that game. But you know, Gallup is a very good Newcastle side, a club that I've actually been to myself. It's 200 miles from where I live, Newcastle, but as I said, I've been up there, lovely ground. 
just it a bit too high, but you know, that's also where they put the away fans, Roman fans are allowed back into the stadium, of course. I think Newcastle might just edge this one, and I'm going to go for a 1-0 Newcastle win. My next one is Norwich versus Everton. Norwich, I think, very much down. I think they've got to win five of the remaining eight games as well. I do think, as I said, I think Norwich is down. Please forgive me, Norwich fans. I'm just, you know, saying my opinion. Everton drawing with the Liverpool at the Merseyside Derby. And that could leave Liverpool, if they beat Palace, who we'll talk about in a minute, they could win the title at the Etihad Stadium. So, you know, the likes of Everton probably will just edge over Norwich. I'm going to go for a 2-0 Everton win for that one. My next one is Wolves versus, Wolves versus Bournemouth. Say that again. Um, you know, with the likes of Wolves and where they are and where they're trying to get to, where the likes of Bournemouth are struggling, I can't remember who they lost against. Uh, yeah, I'll do it to Crystal Palace, wasn't it? Um, you know, the likes of Bournemouth losing against Crystal Palace, Wolves, you know, beating West Ham, doing their thing. I think Wolves got this game co quite comfortably, and I'm going to go for a 3 1 Wolves win. My next one is Liverpool versus Crystal Palace. Liverpool. As I've said, if they beat Palace, I think City might have to lose against Chelsea. We'll get down to that in a minute. I do think that, you know, drawing 0 0 at the most side derby sort of, you know, might give them a bit of a push to try and get that title as quick as possible. Going up against a fairly good Crystal Palace side. As I said, they beat Bournemouth. They look strong. I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Burnley versus Watford. Watford are yet again in that relegation zone. You know, battling it out. I think the safety gap is literally 32 points. You know, it's what Brighton are on. Hopefully we can pick up more points across the season. But as I said, it's a bit tight down there. So we're going to have to wait and see, but I reckon it's 32 points. Watford, you know, drawing against Leicester. Burnley, I think they picked up a defeat yet again, I can't remember who's who. But, you know, Burnley versus, oh yeah, Burnley lost to Man City, that was right. Um, but Burnley did quick, not so quickly getting out of the box, mind you, it was City. Watford, this game's going to be crucial for both of them. I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Southampton versus Arsenal. Southampton have done an excellent game against Norwich. Arsenal losing 2 1 to Brighton. Now, I can already hear comments coming from you Arsenal fans that now my pay should have been sent off and blah blah. Fair enough, you all got your own opinions, but going back to that Sheffield United game, when Lewis Dunk put it across the line, I don't know what player it is for Arsenal, but he used his hand to put it back over the line. Now, I know the goal was given, which was fair enough, it was a goal, but if the same thing there happened up at Sheffield United, you know, it would have been cheating involved so my my um opinion is I don't think the my pay should have been sent off. I think it maybe should have been a yellow card if I'm coming from a perspective and a Brighton fan. But the ball was there to be one. So you know it's 50-50 off the other. But going up against Southampton this weekend away from home. Southampton are a team that's obviously down on the south coast and are very much, you know, a team that I like the look of, especially where they are on the table. 
I think Southampton will win this one and I'm going to go for a 3 1 Southampton win. My last one is the big one, it's Chelsea versus Manchester City. Now, for a weekend position, they'll be uploaded on Friday, but as I said, the only way you can keep up the date is hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, you never miss an upload. So, you know, Chelsea, Man City, this could be a bit of a 50 50 game, I do think. Uh, don't get me wrong, Chelsea have done a brilliant job and has signed Tom a winner. Um, Man City, you know, beating Burnley 5 now, beating Arsenal, you know, this game I think is going to be crucial. I reckon it's going to end up a draw, and I'm going to go for a one all score line for that one. But anyway guys, you know what to do in the video, a big fuck fan hope you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, ciao for now.